products. We know that infectious diseases have inflicted huge sufferings for human beings, and fungal infectious disease has still been inflicting sufferings, great suffering. So the prevention and control of the infectious disease is a great task for all human beings. There are different types of fungal infectious diseases because there are different types of the fungus. For the extent of the fungal infectious disease, we do not have a full picture yet. The sales is over 3 billion USD dollars. The best one is the new generation of Pesozonor, which has gained the highest sales, as you can see in the graph. This is the best antifungal drug with highest market sales. Now in China, the sales of posiconadol monazoles, we can see that in 2099, it peaked at 28.8 billion, uh, sorry, 800 million dollars. It is a good drug, but with obvious defects, for example, very poor water solubility, very low oral bioavailability, and the individual efficacy of oral absorption by patients vary greatly. That's because the habits, consumption habits of patients varies, and injections require central venous catheterization, which presents the highest risk. This graph, you can see the method of central venous catheterization. So we are developing an alternative antifungal inhibitors. We want to modify the technology, in particular, the feature of the molecules of this product. The key point is to change molecular properties of Posocanova and change the injection technology. We, need, we know that the normal venous injection has low risk. We have gone some study data. This data, you can see that through changing the molecular properties, we see the prominent improvement of water solubility and stability. After molecular modification, we have done in vitro inhibitory activity test. We can see it, the efficacy has been improved and steady. Second, through oral delivery and injection, we see the difference of efficacy. Through injection, we can see that the efficient composition of the drug can be effectively delivered and work in the body of the animals in testing. Next, through injection, we also see the good efficacy inside the body of the animals. This is a product, we find stability of GH035 in human, hepatocytes, and whole blood. We also see the steady efficacy. Here you can see the data of seven day PK in rats. We can see the decomposition of GH03 to in different concentration. The highest blood concentration is improving. Within 24 hours, we can see the stable drugs decomposition. With the current injection, one injection per day. If it is good, then we will improve to two doses per day. This is the data of toxicology. We do not see prominent toxicity in the rats intestines. This is the CMC study of GH035. We have a synthesis process study. We have increased the dose to 1.6 kg. 
this is the stability data of the 1.6 1 .6 kg of GHO35. We see the steady properties of the drug. This is the formulation research. We explored four formulation prescriptions. This is the GHO35. And through our formulation, we have nailed the concentration to 50 milligrams per milliliter. And we have reached six pH 6.0 phosphate buffer, which presents low risk. The formulation has become more convenient. This is the patterns we have gained last year in March. We have other products, pipelines, for small molecular drugs for oncology diseases. Our aims, we plan to have one to two drugs gaining approval for marketing in the next five to eight years. The potential is very great because we have a fast pace for IND and clinical trials. In PCC stage, we hope that it can enter into the clinical trials soon. Our financing needs, current financing needs is 30 million yuan, mostly used for phase one clinical trials for one to two small molecular drugs. And we will begin the next round of funding after obtaining the first clinical approval. So much for my presentation. Thank you. There are some questions from the investors. First, among your products, in particular, all three, five, if you market these products, the forecasted sales, how about the forecasted sales as to the future markets? The total antifungal drugs has over 10.5 billion yuan for systemic infectious disease. It accounts for like 95% of the market and injections account for over 50% of the markets. So the total market volume is 6 billion yuan. We have a generic drug just being approved by The second question, you've mentioned another product in clinical study for a brain cancer, GH product. Can you introduce the details of the development of the drug? We have the two drugs in PCC stage we plan. We have very low fundraising now because this is a new product. So we planned to proceed with one drug with the second round of fundraising, we will proceed with the second product that is GH after the second round of fundraising. We will receive fundraising from North America and other international investors. Yes, our products are benchmark the best international drugs. So we welcome world investors to participate in the development of our drugs. Have you planned? Do you have a timeline for the first approval for the drug? We have been halfway through the preclinical study. A clinical study. So in six to nine months, we will gain the approval by Chinese authority for clinical trials. And then we will conduct, we will begin the second round fundraising. Thank you. Thanks to Dr. Xu for your sharing and presentation. Thank you. Thank you.